Hey everyone, in today's video I'll be going over my AP Dryad that I use to kill Goblin Siege Rollers. The main reason I personally use the AP Dryad as my Siege Roller Killer is because of her ability to fly in the air and able to cast her abilities to deal damage to them without having to worry about the Siege Roller or other enemies nearby to target my character while in the process of getting rid of them. To start off, all my armor for the Dryad consists of Fragile Power, Healthy AP, and Swap AP chip, while on the weapon it has Controller, Goblin, and Mini Boss chip. You will want to have godly crit chance on all your pieces. Siege rollers are classified as both goblin and mini boss, so these two mods will increase the damage they take. The dryad with her purified mushrooms ability provides a slowing effect to enemies, so this would proc the controller chip for the extra damage. Not only do these mushrooms help with triggering the controller chip, they also help with the fact that more of the corrupted stars will deal damage longer since they leave an area of effect damage source for a few seconds after impact. That would help deal damage against rollers as the roller's weak spot will take damage from them as long as they are close enough. The slowing effect of the mushrooms can also stack on top of each other so you can throw a few mushrooms down to slow the roller even more if you wanted to. Celestial Tumen increases the max amount of stars that a dryad can hold from 3 to 9 allowing you to place down more purified or corrupted stars faster to regen your ability resource or do more damage faster against enemies. Corruption's Embrace increases the Starfall ability damage by 52%. Inspiration to decrease the time it takes for Starfall to regenerate stacks. On Gloves, Critical Strike increases your crit chance by 14%. Critical Empowerment increases your crit damage by 20%. Longshot increases your damage by up to 30% based on how far away you are from the target. This shard is based on the character's distance to the enemy, so even though you place an ability like Starfall right near the enemy, we will take account the damage bonus by how far you are at from the enemy instead, so the dryad flying in the air would count for the distance damage bonus it provides. On a chest, Corruption's Harmony decreases the ability resource drain that Corruption does, bringing it down from 5 per second to 1 per second when gilded, allowing you to maintain the corrupt form longer and being able to place down more corrupt stars. Coup de Gras increases your crit damage by 50% but reduces crit chance by 6%, Mage Gambit increases your ability power by 58% while increasing your damage taken by 12%. On Boots, Aerial Mastery increases your movement speed by 1000 while flying. Celestial Power increases the ability resource gained from Purified Starfall by 30, increasing it from its default of 30 to 60, essentially doubling the amount you get per star. Speed Boost to increase your movement speed. On Weapon, Double Wish grants a 50% chance to drop a second Purified Star. This helps with getting your ability resource quicker. Shard doesn't apply to corrupt the starfall. Serpent's God Fury allows crits to reduce ability cooldowns faster, which will apply to starfall. And Stand Your Ground increases your hero and ability damage along with damage reduction while standing still. This shard has a visual effect that is represented by green floating bubbles above the top half of your character when the shard is active. Although you are not on the ground while flying, it activates if your character stays in place in general. Jumping and moving around will deactivate the shard, but if you stay in place whether it is in the air or on the ground, for at least 2 seconds, the shard will reactivate, granting the damage bonus that it applies. For the ring, you will want the ring of time for the extra 10% ability power and ability cooldown reduction. For the pet, you will want to use either a ghost cat or a dragolich with their whale abilities to make enemies take 100% extra damage. That covers the build for my Dryad. I usually use this Dryad whenever I'm doing survival to deal with rollers that are around the 2 billion health mark as I don't die as much trying to kill them since I'm flying above them. Another tip that I can give you guys is if you're running low on Starfall, you can refill your ability resource by aiming your Starfall against the wall, generally at a lower angle than to where you are flying at vertically so that when you are against the wall where the Starfall is dropped at, you can pick it up that way, instead of having to drop back down to get the Starfall instead. Anyways, that will be it for this video, and I hope you guys find it useful. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye!